IIT from Gargapo, and he will speak about cyber multiplicities of Frobenius powers of an ideal. I mean, is it okay now? Okay. So it was reminding me my days in Kansas, Virginia, and Purdue. I mean, had really nice and stimulating time with the extended Hunike Hoxter family. I mean, Alessandro, Luis, Ilya, Julio, Long. So, uh, although, I mean, Craig was my advisor, although I never got a chance to interact with Mel directly, but like interacted with many in Mel family. So, Two of them are sitting right in front of me right now, Long and Luis. And I just want to thank all of you for being excellent friends and colleagues. So I'll talk about Hilbert Samuel Multiplicities of Romania's Powers of an Ideal. This is a joint work with uh, JKV and uh, Kriti. Uh, so let me just set it up a bit. So we have a d-dimensional Noetherian local ring. And also characteristic P. Q to be P to the power E, and we I to be an M primary ideal, and the Qth Frobenius power of I, as many people have defined, but just let me just for once define it. So the Hilbert Kuhn's function was defined to be this. So the length of the quotient by Frobenius powers, and this is as we have already seen several times, this is you know well defined because this is. M primary and Monsky proved in 83. This is basically This is a positive real. And this number we call it Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicity. We call it Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicity of I. Um, some simple terminologies by HK of R we denote by Hilbert Kuhn's of the maximal ideal and for other M primary we stick to HK of IR. Hence, in 2003, that 
this is. So, I mean, this Frobenius power commutes with usual power. So, there was this connection with the usual Hilbert Samuel coefficients or the usual multiplicity coefficients were established. I is just a Hilbert Samuel multiplicity of R with respect to I. So basically, you know, if you define this as this, this length for N large enough this is, one knows that this is this polynomial. Of course, all these are very well known, but I just wanted to remind, remind this for once more. So, um, Trivedi in, I, I think before that I should mention the relation, so how Hilbert Samuel multiplicity and Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicity are related, this is a theme uh, several people have explored and before saying this I just want to mention one result by Watanabe and Yoshida in 2001 proved that if R, Kuhn may call a local and dimension is greater than or equal to 2 and I a stable ideal. I'll just define in a moment what is stable means. Then for all k greater than equal to 1, the Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicity is actually the 0 at E0 k plus d minus 1 choose d minus e0 i minus e each k. i this whole thing times k plus d minus 2 d minus 1 where uh, so for stable let me just quickly define what is stable so j subset of sub ideal of i called reduction of i if for n 
large enough. G i power n is n plus 1. So we define, so this is the reduction. J is called minimal reduction. If J is minimal with respect to inclusion, among all reductions. I is called stable if for any minimal reduction, j i is i squared. So it sort of starts from the first step itself. So that result of uh, Watanabe Washida uh, established this interaction between Hilbert Coons and Hilbert Samuel. Um, the result I was trying to mention earlier it was a result by Tribedi in 2017. So our standard graded. field I homogeneous M primary generated in same degree then limit k going to infinity e h k divided by d factorial D minus one equal to one factorial. So this is what uh, Tribedi demonstrated in 2017. Then in 2019, Ilya proved the following result. If you take a Noetherian local and like the very general setup and I am primary, Then you can actually write down Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicity of power 
in terms of uh, this Hilbert Samuel coefficients of Frobenius powers in general. So you have E1. This times k plus plus even for an upstart in this area like me, this looks like a really beautiful result because this kind of connects Hilbert Kuhn's zeroth first and also Frobenius power usual power and the first power. So this kind of gives a grand kind of, brings everything in the same picture. In the same paper, Ilya posed a couple of questions. So, so. Same paper, actually. So, so he asked, does limit Q going to infinity, EI of exists for all I greater than equal to two. And also, for large enough k, is it true that is zero to D now of course uh, the second question to some extent assumes the affirmative answer to first question because it uses this limiting expression um, one can also explore if this doesn't exist, whether that automatically say this doesn't exist or not, but like, so but this was, this is how it was posed in his paper. So that was the time I, so the simultaneous, the similar time I was working with uh, Professor Verma and Kriti on another paper on related topic where we are exploring Hilbert Kuhn's multiplicities. Um, this problem came to our attention and we kind of started talking about it. And uh, we could show the following. So if you take a Bushbaum ring, which is slightly more general than a cohen macaulay ring, I mean, if you remember, Kue talked about Bushbaum ring in his talk of dimension D, of course, characteristic P, that's our setup, and I, an ideal generated by a system of parameters. Then, 
then for all i, limit q going to infinity is actually zero. And hmm, I guess I can erase the definition of reduction now. Or, And for all k greater than or equal to 1, we could also show that this Hilbert Kuhn's of i power k is E0 choose t. Now, the proof of this result basically uses uh, a result by Chung in uh, 18, 1983, which sort of uh, gives a formula for this higher Hilbert Samuel coefficient, EIs of Frobenius powers in terms of length of local cohomology. So that's, we use that to heavily to prove this. And we could also show Again, same setup. This is Cohen Macaulay, well, not same setup. This is now more restrictive. Cohen Macaulay local. Of dimension greater than or equal to one. And characteristic P. I and M primary ideal now and suppose the depth of this associated graded object of I power Q. one for all q large enough then limit q going to infinity e to the power i i to the power k over q to the power t exists. In fact, uh, we give it, you know, closed expression for that. Um, that's keeping it for the sake of time. Now, this condition was something we sort of tried to remove, but uh, we really heavily needed this condition. And uh, this was required because we were using uh, a paper by uh, Tom Marley and Hukaba from 1993, and where this condition was needed. So we tried, but we couldn't do anything about it. So this, at least in these two cases, we could answer Smirnov's question affirmatively. So next, uh, just like this, you know, uh, so I have five more minutes. Oh, yeah. So just like uh, he asked these two questions, Ilya also made a conjecture in the same paper in 
have made this conjecture. Well, I call a local I in primary, then I is table equivalent to this limit of this first Hilbert Samuel equal to this. So this is the time when we saw this conjecture. We were working on the multiplicities in Stanley Reasoner setup. And we had several examples in our hand for some other reason handy. Um, so, in fact, so essentially that time in a different work, what we were showing is the following. So, so I just want to make a passing mention that that was the time we were working on this, proving this. So if R is a d-dimensional face ring of a simply shell complex and j equal to x1 power nu1 xr power nu r, where r number of variables and each mu i is strictly greater than zero, then this length, so the basically so-called generalized Hilbert function, Hilbert Kuhn's function, is a polynomial in Q and K both. So this is what we were at that time working on. I mean, and so we sort of were dealing with lots of examples involving face rings. And, and that was the time when we kind of started working on this. And uh, we found the following counter example. You just take the face ring of this thing. So your ring will be R. X4. So one, well, oh, sorry. X1, X4. where i is x1, x4 intersection, x1, x2 intersection, x1, x3 intersection, x3, x4. And take n to be the extension of the, you know, the maximal ideal basically. Now, here one can show that the, both the first Hilbert Samuel, the Hilbert Samuel multiplicity and Hilbert Kuhn's both are four. So, 
and also the limit. This is zero, one can show. So the right hand side matches, but n is not stable. The showing stable involves a little bit of Hilbert Samuel function and reduction number. I stop here. Okay, thank you very much for the talk, Arindam. Is there some questions? Or remarks? Yeah. Is the conjecture known in dimension one? Uh, I don't think so. Is it known in dimension one? I mean, I. Okay, the, 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 the first theorem in here huh? is for book borrowing. Yeah. Yes, but of course, I think it, at least it's true for Zen Laiko and Macaulay. Yeah, that's what we were discussing yesterday. <laughs> that's what we think so too. I mean, what, it just occurred me, uh, occurred us yesterday. I mean, like, uh, I, yeah, I mean, probably yes. Yes, we need to. <laughs> Sit down and make sure no, the We hope it's true for any ring. Any ring? Well, I mean, the, that's the question. No, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any counter example for yeah, that. Yeah. But, but that's the question, yeah, for any ring. Yeah, but at least it's true for Jen Laiko and Makulay. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. No, <laughs> that's no, what we are hoping. It's true, it's true. So thank you again.